what is your definition uh, of digital scholarship? Uh, and, and how do you feel about people defining terms like that? Oh, Jerry, I, I think the preferred term is now I cyber, cyber <laughs> digital e scholarship. Right, right. So I, I think we should be clear on these things. But uh, humor aside, I think all of these these prefixes are, are vestigial or will soon be. I mean, digital scholarship is about scholarship, systematic work to um, develop generalizable knowledge for for teaching, for engagement for better understanding or explanation of, of the world or of us. And the, the forms have changed, but I think that the goals and the ultimate forms of measuring that are the same, even though the, the technical details vary and are causing some uh, kerfuffles. Yeah. One of the things that going digital has done is disentangle a lot of things that, that were bound up like when you have a book and it's on the shelf, um, it's persistent in a way because, uh, because that shelf is in the library, that library's around, um, people can read it, so it's accessible. Right? It's vetted because it went through a particular publisher. Right? And so now that it's digital, you can start to separate all of these affordances, all these properties out. And so the you can rebundle these properties. And so that's, that's part of, uh, it's not that the goal of, of digital scholarship is essentially different from that scholarship, but because of the possibility of unbundling, I think it makes people think a lot more about what were the underlying you know, properties and reasons that made things scholarship to begin with. And, and some people have a sort of comfort in, in the sort of known bundle. But I, I, don't, I think that's, it's a transitional phrase. For most digital works, um, there are versions. You can point to a particular version or manifestation of a work and say, this is the one I, I mean. But, the, but the, the ability to unbundle all of these things means you have to be more precise about talking about what properties you, you're promising in this, this bundle of, quote, digital scholarship. Because you can't now assume that, that this bundle, which, which came together in not necessarily uh, an intentional way. Right? The fact that, that libraries preserve things was in some ways a, a, you know, a side effect. Right? As we can see with, with electronic journal subscriptions and people and, and institutions are now taking different approaches to, to preserve that content or, or not doing it. Uh, so, you know, this is not just a problem for, for digital scholarship, but for um, scholarship in, you know, traditional form that's being now disseminated in digital, which everything is, and that unbundling is affecting all sorts of institutions, uh, not just scholarship or research.